By the end of this video, you will be able to identify the different types of enzyme inhibitors and explain what denature means to enzyme structure and activity. Enzyme inhibitors are molecules that interact in some way with the enzyme to prevent it from working in the normal manner. There are a variety of types of inhibitors, including nonspecific, irreversible, reversible, competitive, and non-competitive inhibitors. Poisons and drugs are examples of enzyme inhibitors. A nonspecific inhibition affects all enzymes in the same way. Nonspecific methods of inhibition include any physical or chemical changes which ultimately denature the protein portion of the enzyme and are therefore irreversible. An example is temperature. Usually the reaction rate of an enzyme increases with temperature, but if the temperature increase is too extreme, a point is reached when the reaction rate decreases. At high temperatures, the protein part of the enzyme begins to denature, thus inhibiting the reaction. Enzyme activity is also controlled by pH. As the pH is decreased or increased, changes in the overall shape of the enzyme occur if the pH is moved too far from the optimum pH for the enzyme. Again, the enzyme becomes denatured. Specific inhibitors exert their effects upon a single enzyme. Most poisons, as well as many drugs, work by specific inhibition of enzymes. A competitive inhibitor is any compound which closely resembles the chemical structure and molecular geometry of the substrate. The inhibitor competes for the same active site as the substrate molecule. The inhibitor may interact with the enzyme at the active site, but no reaction takes place. The inhibitor is stuck on the enzyme and prevents any substrate molecule from reacting with the enzyme. A non-competitive inhibitor is a substance that interacts with the enzyme, but usually not at the active site. The net effect of a non-competitive inhibitor is to change the shape of the enzyme and thus the active site so that the substrate can no longer interact with the enzyme to give a reaction. Examples of non-competitive inhibitors are lead or mercury. It is important to understand that when the active site of an enzyme is changed, it is said to have been denatured, and there are always a number of points that you need to consider. First, the active site has changed shape to the extent that it can no longer bond to its substrate. Second, because it can no longer bond to its substrate, an enzyme substrate complex cannot form. Third, because the enzyme substrate complex cannot form, no chemical reaction can occur. And finally, the consequence can be devastating to the organism, resulting in disease or possibly even death. 